Hello there, YouTubers, and welcome to another Dr. Cassette video. Today we're going to take one last look at the JVC model KDS 200 Mark II stereo cassette deck. I sold this deck a couple of days ago. Uh, I'm having problems with the motor of this uh, cassette deck. It, sometimes it won't play at the correct speed, and I really don't feel like fixing that. I mean, I replaced the belt in this thing before, and uh, that was already a nightmare, so... <laughs> not gonna bother with that problem. Uh, that's gonna be somebody else's task, I guess. But, uh, anyway, uh, since most of the videos I made on this thing were done on my 8-tech camcorder back in its days, uh, I thought we would uh, take one last look in a bit of a higher quality. So. Let's go ahead and uh, take a look at the features and functions. Now over here we have the stereo microphone inputs and the headphones. Down there you can see the uh, main function buttons. We have, uh, I'll give you a view of those view meters. <laughs> we have an input selector, we have uh, the tape selector. This cassette deck handles chrome, ferrochrome, and normal cassettes. And we also get the JVC noise reduction. That uh, system is called ANRS. And uh, now the regular ANRS is basically the same as the Dolby B. Uh, back in the late 70s, when this system was introduced, this cassette deck, by the way, is from 1979. Uh, back then, JVC didn't want it to pay anything to the Dolby laboratories, so they created their own version of uh, Dolby B. They slightly changed the frequency response, um, and, uh, <laughs> and that was it, basically. So they didn't get into trouble with uh, Dolby because of that uh, slight change, but uh, still you can play Dolby B encoded cassettes on this deck using the ANRS system. Now I also read in some places that uh, the Super ANRS was compatible with Dolby C. Now that is not true. Um, for one thing, the Super ANRS is slightly older than the uh, Dolby C system. I think Dolby C came out in 1980 and this deck is from 1979 and I think it's not the first one uh, that offered uh, the Super ANRS system so yeah that can't be true and it isn't true I tried it and the Dolby C cassettes won't work in the Super ANRS position now, you can also see we have an output level, and you would expect that would control the level of the headphones. Well, it doesn't. It regulates the level of the line level outputs, as you can hear. It does not control the levels of the headphone output. The level of the headphone output is uh, fixed. It can't be regulated in any kind of way, and I really think that's kind of stupid. Now. Um, as you can see, we get a 5 LED level meter, which is uh, set up using discrete components. There are no integrated circuits used for that. We get two nice view meters, and uh, I think you can see also on camera that uh, I had to change the light bulb in that view meter. And uh, the problem was the light bulb originally was colored slightly blue. Now, I tried to color the new light bulb blue as well, but that would look even more terrible than it does right now. It's looking slightly gray in real life, so that's kind of stupid. Also have some LEDs for the functions. If I activate the ANRS systems, those light up. Moving on, we have the tape compartment right here. This cassette deck is using a Sen alloy head as you can see, and uh, now there, of course, we have rewind, record, and uh, play, fast forward, stop eject, and the pause. And uh, there is a little logo for the Super ANRS, and there is the tape counter. And over there, we have the record level regulators, which are kind of lost out there, and. Uh, it actually doesn't really make sense to put them over there. Uh, they just did that to get the cassette deck to match the receiver 
that belong to this, I guess. Because, uh, well, the regulators are just hooked up to th some wires and those are running all the way to over there where the electronics are located. Now one last thing we want to... Oh, don't forget the power switch. That is over there. Now, uh, one feature that I want to demonstrate is the timer record feature. And uh, now basically this has both timer record and timer playback. And now what you have to do is you press pause and then either record or play back. Now I don't want to record over this cassette and also I can not record over this cassette because it's a pre-recorded one. So I want to press, press play. And uh, now we just turn this thing off like uh, usually a programmable timer would do. And if the timer then goes ahead and turns the whole set back on again, you can see there is a little solenoid inside of there which releases the pause button. That's kind of an interesting setup. And uh, yeah, that's basically it about this cassette deck. So I hope you enjoyed this video and see you again soon.